Hey everybody, it's Lynn here from A Bit of Birdsong. I'm sitting down for my daily trashy journaling session. Uh, it doesn't have to be trashy every day, but a lot of days I like to just add the day's trash and recycle and whatever into this really fun book. I took this to a gig the other night because when I travel with Jason, I get there early and the band is setting up and a lot of times there really aren't even people there yet. So I was just sitting at one of the tables in the brewery and I was working in this. I take a little travel bag. Oh, let me show you something. Kim, who comments on here sometimes, and I met Kim in person, made me this beautiful, beautiful bag. It, I think Kim said this was the first time she put a zipper in. She's got birdsong here and she put my name. It's a little puffy right now because I took it again last night to a different gig and I carried some art supplies with me. Once again, I was there probably an hour and a half before the gig actually started. So. Kim, I love this so much. I do use this. I have failed to show that on my channel, and she gave that to me all the way back at the uh, birdsong retreat back in April. Anyway, this was laying on the table, and the plug on this that's just decorative and pretty trashy was hanging off the side of the table, and Jason asked me if I was going to plug it in. I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it looking like that, but it kind of made me laugh a little bit to think about that. So, let's just get started. Uh, I love to fill these pages up just as full as they will go. It makes it more and more fun to look at, and... I do like to cut the bulbs, bulbs. It's funny how people say that differently. Um, this, this image of the light bulb, I'm gonna cut that out for sure. And you can see that I bought this at a place called Ollie's. Do you have Ollie's where you live? It's a discount store, so they get large, uh, I guess, overstock things, large shipments of things that are discontinued or overstock or whatever and you get it at discount prices they had a lot of light bulbs there and i did go ahead and buy quite a few they've gotten so expensive has anybody else noticed that how expensive everything is but this was a dollar 99 for a four pack so i went ahead and stocked up on the 60 watt bulbs and the 40 watt bulbs Let's put this right here, and we may end up writing some sort of message on this tape. But for right now, let's just see what we want to use from this. I don't know if we really want anything else. Let's go ahead and cut this part out and we may put that in later uh, uses 28% less energy and then I've got this royal pink salmon label does anybody like patties made from canned salmon I grew up eating those and some people don't like them I think that's one of those things that they either really turn you off or you think they're really good and I think they're really good the way I make mine is to open the can of the flaked salmon and well it's like in chunks but it, it'll flake apart and I go through and take out the pieces of skin I leave the little bones I think they're good they're really crunchy and I add I use one can for just Jason and me I used to use more than one can when I was cooking for my you know my family of six at the time but I add two eggs and I add some flour and usually some sort of seafood seasoning that has lemon in it and maybe a little bit of salt and pepper not too much and I get a an iron skillet really hot with olive oil I know they say the flash point is such that you shouldn't fry with olive oil but honestly I haven't had a problem with it and I cook them fry them in the iron skillet on each side until they're really really crispy and I think they're good I think they're really good so you don't have to like them I do like them we also cook um, a lot of fresh salmon Jason likes to buy the wild caught salmon steaks or whatever okay so here we go rolling on through 
Now, this came from the Grabby box that I'm gonna be reviewing soon. And I do like this packaging. So maybe we can find a way to put this in so that, well, I would like to put it in so that we can write on this. So why don't we just glue it right on top of here and that'll give us more journaling space in here. It's not that I want to lose the back, but I do like the grid design that's on the other side of this. And we have the colors here, we have that repeating over here. So we're not losing, we're not completely losing that colorful background. Let's hold this for just a second so that it doesn't curl up. And actually we can take a couple of large paper clips. I've been making journals, so most of my large paper clips are over near the sewing machine. Here, let me grab this way. There. And of course that will, let's put that under there too. That will give us a little um, journaling space. Now, what do we have? We've got this. This is an old label gift wrap. I don't remember where I got this. Maybe in when I was shopping at the scrap exchange in the barrels or something. I don't really remember, but I think we're going to just, um, and I can take that off. I think that was holding that down. Maybe we will just take the stapler and staple across here. I love that you can see the blue staples against the uh, black. And I might take this staple out. That staple was already in there. I don't want it just hanging down where it's going to scratch me because I would like to use this for a little place where we can tuck things under. And especially, so if we add some glue right across the bottom, it makes it like a little, a little pocket. So we've got that. And here is another pretty item from the grabby box. A lot of pretty supplies in there. And we could glue this down to make a pocket to put things in. Maybe maybe for now what what we will do is hmm let's just do two sides. I'm going to go down this side and then right across here. And that'll give us a pocket kind of like that. I won't try to glue here too because it gives us more room to put something larger in. And I'm also going to take, okay, I knew I had some washi tape out. Let's go ahead and take a piece of this pretty tape and lay it right here and just fold that over here. We can still see that staple there and that one there and that one there. I think I did cover one of them up. So we've got that little pocket and that can dry. And let's keep on flipping. Maybe we'll just put this on this page because so far it's turning out to be kind of a collage with quotes and um, just that old page from the from the catalog and look at this is that monami these were pens pastel very very fine line pens um, pastel very light i did try them a couple of times they're a little bit too light for my taste uh, and that said i don't know if maybe i don't know maybe i'm using them on the wrong kind of paper we, we will learn more about these as as i use them and as we use more from that grabby box i think i'm going to put this on the inside of here and that will be nice make that flip out more sturdy we're just going to go ahead and glue the whole thing flat down I'm not going to worry about making this some kind of pocket, although, okay, I think I've just decided I'm going to put it underneath here so that we don't lose this. So that's kind of hiding there. 
makes this part really sturdy and we still have the pocket. And we have another, <laughs> another little uh, fancy feast container. And I think with this one, so I'm just gonna cut across the bottom and let me sew a stitch right across the bottom of this. I am close by, hang on. Let's put this on zero, make it kind of a... Make it kind of a long stitch is what I was gonna say. Let's go ahead and cut those off anyway. And now we have a pocket that we can glue down somewhere. I think we could glue it maybe. I don't know. I love this picture. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. That was from a calendar of beautiful walkways. Can you imagine? That is so gorgeous. It just looks like fairies would live there. Um... Let's see, where can we put this? We may have to add some more pages. Oh, look, why don't we glue it on this page with the actual kitty cats? I have a note here that says these cats were not ours. Found them at the thrift store, someone's beloved cats. I remember bringing these pictures home and showing Jason, and we love our cats so much. We have moments where they just about drive us crazy, especially with four cats that were just sort of put together. They, they are, they've done really, really well. They have, they're sweet cats. They're all good cats. But it made us sad to look at this and think that these cats are probably gone and they were somebody's beloved cats. Um, they obviously, they're really close, they're well cared for and somebody loved them. I don't know, do you all think about things like that? I know that Jason and I do and it just, it's kind of sad. But we have to enjoy every single day this was just a piece of the eyelash trim and I put it on a tiny, uh, I tied a knot at, at one end and put it on this little safety pin and just pinned it to the fabric across the top. So that hangs down here in the middle. And we have this little piece of um, cord that came from the grabby box. It had tied up the uh, scrapbook paper pretty scrapbook paper. We could possibly, um, we could just run it around a page, you know, sort of like if you're tying pages together to make a journal, but you're not really binding, you just tie this, uh, whatever you're using. So we could put that around that and that's okay. I'm just makes it right there uh, in the center and I don't need this and here is that's just a clear sheet that was over some stickers and I think we can move this now I believe why was that in there maybe it was holding something down to either dry or Maybe I had just clipped something there. I honestly don't remember. Okay, I do want to use this little image here. We might use this clear piece. I'm not sure yet. I love um, just fussy cutting images out of books and from calendars. It adds a lot of interest to the pages. And I find that adding people you know, these, the even the beautiful vintage pictures will just make the, um, I know we can't get this whole thing in here, or maybe we can if we find, if we do it on a page that's double, let's just see. But adding photos of people, vintage, beautiful old photos, it just makes the trash look so cool. It's a contrast, but it also just feels like living like you know we're surrounded by packaging and the empty containers from things that we've used trash and whatever and when I look back through these books I just see a little chapter of my life it's very interesting now I think we could glue this across here let's go ahead and fold it and I'm hoping 
that it glues okay to the tape. I think it will. I think it'll be okay because it's gonna glue pretty good everywhere else, we hope. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue all around the edge and then I will take this little uh, craft spongy thing and move this glue around a little bit so that it's not so lumpy. And, and that way we can get it right out to the edge as well. I'm trying not to get it on the book pages underneath. right here. Get that excess glue off of there. Oh, so sweet. I love that. Yeah, a lot of times this is why paper clips are stuck in here. I don't know why the last one was in there. I can't imagine what it would have been holding down, but Let's put this here. All right now that's driving me crazy, that little piece of white there. And I think for now that's all the trash I have on my desk. So I am going to stop because I have some important content that I need to create. Not that this is not important, but I do have a couple of collaborations I want to get published this week on the channel and just other things you will see so i'm gonna go for now thank you so much for dropping in and i will see you really soon bye bye